All right, so this guy is not only is there one, there's two of them, right? So yesterday, I've been trying to find the right guy, and I almost, and I had this other uh, hippie dude, and who was in North Carolina, who I was trying, to, who I was planning on flying down in February to do it, but then I was like, oh. I really don't want to do that. That's just like so corny, flying in a gringo hippie to kind of do this. But locally, there has to be a guy. So I'm searching, I'm asking around, asking around. Can't find anybody, can't find them. And then one day I'm just randomly in Condado talking to some friends and I see these three black dudes. Three young black dudes, three young brothers. Um, I think they were, they, they seemed like they were like, uh, you know, of Nigerian descent. They were all big guys. And um, so I run up to them. I'm like, yo, where you get that hat from? <laughs> and the thing is, like, you know, normally you see like three big dudes like that. People go, hey, guys, hey, how you doing? Um... You know, my name's Major, I wanna ask you a question. And I'm just like, I go up to them all aggressive, like, yo, tell me where you get this hat from. And just like Clotworth, they were just like, yo, man, yeah. I got this hat down in, um, uh, they said Fajardo. So, um, so I had to just figure out when can I get down to Fajardo, right? So yesterday, you know, um, we finally just said, you know what, let's just take, go to the beach, go down to Fajardo. So I go down there. And I'm headed down there with uh, Dark Angel Delivery Services, my lady. And she's like, um, this is the area where everybody's at. And it's a beautiful area there. It's like um, a bunch of um, fitness stuff and workout stuff. You know, they got like stand up paddle boarding and um, paddle boarding with a bicycle and, you know, see through kayaks it's a pretty nice um equipped area of stuff but the area itself is really just about locals and, and whatnot so my thing is is mostly like yeah it's locals this guy is trying to deal with tourists i don't really think it's gonna be here but nonetheless so we asked like the first the first guys who were like sitting down selling something and immediately they're like, hell yeah, we know that guy. You know, he's um he's here, but he's at um no, he's not at this beach. He's at Lukio Beach. Like Lukio stalls. So if you had ever head down to Fajardo, there's that area that's just like a bunch of just shops on the side of the road that's always packed. That's the area he said. So that's about 20 minutes from where we were. Uh, maybe about 15 minutes from where we were. So we play around in the, in the ocean a little bit and then we head out and, and head up to the stalls. So it's my first time ever stopping in there. And this is how you know the universe works. I found parking. Like parking in the front row. Like ridiculous. And the wildest thing about it, there were two cars parked in front of the parking spot and both of them were like, go ahead, that's yours. I was like, oh shit. So. I'm like, all right, we're feeling good. So we get out, we walk around, and we meet his brother. So his brother's at the corner, and he just does roses, right? He just uh, takes takes the things, and he just does roses. And I'm like, all right, cool. Roses all day. That sounds great. This is our guy. Um, my lady starts talking to him in Spanish, and I'm noticing a little weird weird kind of movement with the dude like he's just kind of like rocking forward and back like with the with, with the palm leaves and the palm roses in his hands he's just rocking forward and back and I'm just kind of like throwing this dude and it wasn't even like he was just really rocking it was more like he was thrusting his pelvis forward and like bringing it back and like that's kind of how it was it was a very very weird weird movement but Nonetheless, the lady was getting accosted, and she handled it like a G. 
<laughs> she got a bunch of information from the guy. He's like, yeah, that's my brother. Um, he's down at the other side and he's always walking around, you know, selling hats. So we're like, okay, cool, let's find him. So I get super excited and um, I'm looking around and we go to the other stalls, we go on the beach, we, got, we don't see him, we don't see him. And I'm like, I'm like, man, we, get, we gotta find this dude. So we end up going to get pizza. So we're sitting down there eating pizza, eating a nice margarita pizza, throwing back a Heineken, talking some shit, still looking for the guy. And I see remnants of him all over the place. I see roses, I see uh, baskets, but I don't see him. So we sit there, eat, we even get another beer and just finish the beer or whatever. And, like, and it rains and we're just sitting inside and then we leave. So as we leave, we're like, all right, we're gonna do one final lap around this place. If not, at least I know where he is. I can come back and try to find him again, even though I'm feeling a little depressed at this point. So we hit him. We walk outside and we turn to the left. Both of our backs are turned to what comes up right behind us, but my palm man, my coconut palm man, my hat guy. He pops up right behind me. And the wildest thing, I mean like, like brushed up on me as he passed by type of thing. Like, here I am. Dude, we've been looking for you for the last hour and a half. And you just decided to just pop up. It was crazy. So, sitting there talking to him. And he knows English, which is good. Happy about that. But the thing is about him, he's a little low. Um, so now, he's, he's exactly what I expected. Just somebody that is just a random dude on the street. But yes, he's also on drugs. So he's a heroin addict. His teeth are all fucked. And, but his palm hat game is on point. I immediately get my hat. <laughs> and I'm like... He just laced me with the beautiful green joint, which, you know, which is how, it's just how they all start off. Um, you can't mail the hat like this. That's the thing about it. You can't travel with it. There's like restrictions. So you kind of have to uh, go through a bit of a, uh, it's like Cuban cigars <laughs> to get these things from Puerto Rico. But, uh, but the wildest thing about it doesn't take him long I can get him to teach and we can weave a whole bunch of stuff and then we can freak it and then make him dope but I found a guy I can employ him and I now have the hat that I can not only add to my e-commerce store but just really highlighted in dope places but the thing is this this is the aquapreneur hat right so yeah i got my showpiece back i'm super excited about that and i got you know my creator of it and i didn't have to leave the island and it's exactly somebody that i want because i can help him you know what i mean this dude is an aquapreneur aquapreneur is coming all shapes and sizes like what you know, how can we flip them? So, you know, happy day, happy day. So now um, I'm headed back to the ranch to to get a little training, and and I'm not trying to kill people on the road or myself, but happy camp. Oh, man, oh, you mean look fun, man. At bro, come on, man, man, fly, fly, no fuck, fly. <laughs> plant based living. Yeah, I mean, I gotta add from plants. So, get yours, because I can get these to you. <laughs>